Okay, so we're joined by Andy from SDR Play here at uh, Fruit Island 2018, and um, I believe you've got a new product. Yeah, so we have the uh, RSP Duo. Uh, it uh, was released at uh, Dayton a couple of weeks ago. It's a uh, dual tuner, 14 bit SDR. Uh, and yeah, you can monitor two completely independent frequencies at the same time uh, through a single USB 2 interface. Um, we uh, the uh, clock and, and um, phase synchronous, so we can do uh, applications such as diversity, directional finding, noise cancellation, uh, and all that kind of software will come over the next few weeks and months. Excellent. So a real big difference then to the to the current one. So you've got this, this is so the big difference here is it's got a, it's got two tuners. You can listen to two frequencies at once. But I think what's quite exciting, you were saying to me earlier, is this diversity option. So in a future version of the software, for the SDR software, which we'll look at in a second, um, you can actually do diversity receive and really improve the reception. Yeah, that's right. It's, um, it'll still operate as the other, uh, the other RSPs do. So we can still do 0F mode up to 10 megahertz of spectrum for a single tuner. But yeah, the, uh, the ability to be able to do, like you say, diversity, noise cancelling functions uh, with the two locked tuners it's um, yeah it's, it's, uh, it's the amount of, of, of software development is now going to increase quite significantly and you were saying now the, the SDR Uno software which is produced by SDR Play I think you're actually involved in that aren't you Andy? Yeah, I, I maintain and support the uh, SDR Uno development um, and uh, yeah so we're going to have we've got some really good features coming up in the next few releases we're going to have scanning uh, which has been a long time fe feature that people have been requesting um, we're going to reconfigure Uno so that it will support third-party plugins, um, remote client, it's, uh, and also obviously all the support for the Duo for the diversity as well. So yeah, it's going, to, it's going to change quite a lot over the next few months. And I think you were saying also there's quite a few third-party applications that also support the SDR uh, player range of products. And I think you were saying there's an API or something? Yeah, so uh, we, we uh, produce an API, um, doc fully documented API for the other products. The API will be out in the next couple of weeks for the Duo on Windows, and then uh, we're working hard to push that out across uh, cross-platform. So Linux, uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, Mac as well. So um, Uno uses the API, so whatever Uno it can do, people will be, will be able to do you know, um, power accurate measurements uh, to within a DB. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, yeah the, the, the API is key really. Um, and uh, we're keen to make sure that it's supported across all platforms and for all of the products. You're saying it's obviously very open then, so you're actually very co very happy and very comfortable to allow other companies to, to develop software and to, you know, there's a real community I think around, the, the, around this product range. I think it's important that uh, people can use a fully documented API that supports all the functionality of the hardware um, and people can have confidence that it works. Um, and we have an example here of uh, some spectrum analyzer software that uh, um, a gentleman called Steve Andrew in Australia has written, uh, purely based around the, uh, the RSP family, uh, using the API, and he's doing here, he's doing uh, spectrum analyzer functions, wideband sweeps, uh, accurate power measurement, so it's, you know, we're not doing anything that the API here yeah. doesn't do. So. So, so essentially what we're saying is people are finding uses for these products uh, and able to develop software, and it's, it's very open. Like you say you're making APIs available, documenting it, yeah. and uh, it's a real community, I think, around, around the thing. Yeah, I mean, that, that'd be, it's, 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 it's growing, um, and uh, I mean, we fully support the, the API. We help uh, people if they have issues using it or they can't get the best out of it. Uh, we produce example code, uh, and we really try and encourage people to you know, to, to write their own code around around the API. Um, that's, that's fantastic. And I think you're also saying SCR Uno, so I think that's currently a Windows only software, is that right? So, uh, SCR Uno is a Windows only application. It's been in development um, before we, we before we got it, it's been in development for about five or six years um, as a commercial piece of software. Um, and we are keen to make it uh, cross-platform. So, um, our aim is to ultimately, I can't give you a timeline for that, uh, there's a lot of Windows only stuff in there at the moment, um, so my, ga my goal is to move all that to cross-platform support and then it'll be easier to make Uno cross-platform. So the goal is to make it uh, uh, Mac, Linux and Windows. That's great. So Andy, if anyone people want more information about the product range, how, how would they go about getting that? Uh, everything's available on our website, so strplay.com. Uh, we have, um, like I say, we've got documentation, uh, links to our YouTube site for videos, um, there's just everything you can find on there and a link to support so if you have questions um, whether you have an RSP or you don't have an RSP you want to find out more about them there's a support link on there 
and uh, come through to support and we'll, we'll help everybody that comes through. That's great. Andy, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Okay.